I've spent the last few days here at Thomas Key, but now have to go and reprovision. Before I leave, there's one final area I want to explore. Maybe I should pull it up a little bit further. Not convinced about my anchoring on the rock technique. Tide is coming up. I saw some people coming up this trail. And so I thought I'd check it out for myself. All right, Secret Beach. Pouring over, it's time for a brisk upwind sail back to Staniel Key. I think I need to get back and get man the main sheet. As you can see, I'm back at Staniel Key. Um, last time I was on the mooring, which is a couple hundred yards that way between me and the island. This time I've just anchored out. Uh, I'm not 100% convinced about it. It's it's you know, it's a recognised anchorage. Oops, bouncy out here. Uh, but I didn't want to go through the uh, effort of trying to get that bloody mooring ball again. The current. So the current here is pretty bizarre. Where's my boat? Okay, so now um, I came in at slack high tide, theoretically. Uh, but the anchor chain, the wind, the wind, wind's coming from over there, east. Let me walk to the back. Ah, oh, goddamn! Painful, painful, painful. Yeah. <laughs> There's my anchor chain. Anchor's over there somewhere. So the way the current is working, 
the current is pushing me this way, but the wind is keeping the boat facing that way. And uh, yeah, it's all right, but I did set the anchor pretty good. Um, so I'm gonna stay here, have my lunch, watch, watch the, uh, watch the anchor watch for a while. And um, touch wood. Got my bit of wood there. Yeah, she, she should she should hold. I mean, you know, everybody else is holding. There's no reason. I've got so many five feet of chain out, and um, so there's no reason why I shouldn't hold good. Uh, yeah, dinghy in the water. I've also filled up my. Well, I've. Um, put my two jerry cans worth of water in the water tank, so I'm going to take those over and refill those. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to have to fill. So I work on the basis of two gallons a day. In reality, usually, I use about a gallon and a half a day. Um, yeah, so that gives me a bit of a buffer. So based on that two gallons a day, I'm down at 17 gallons. I've just put 12 gallons in, so that's 39, 29 gallons. So I put another 12 gallons in, that'll be 41 gallons. So I'm expecting to fill up 12 gallons, then go back and do another 12 gallons, more or less. And then go in and reprovision after that. All right, but in the meantime, now for some lunch. In the islands, you can never miss an opportunity to get rid of your trash. I got up early the next morning only to find this guy taking a wee nap under my dinghy. Definitive myth busting about sharks having to keep moving to stay alive. I did have to get moving myself, so I stowed my dinghy and headed off. What a difference downwind sailing makes. Why can't it always be like this? this big one in front of me I'll show you and uh, and then round the back to get to where I hope there's going to be space to anchor it off O'Brien Key super sketchy bit coming up instructions are to favor the rock not too much. Anchored off O'Brien's Key, just up and off there. A little shallower than I liked. Um, I dropped the hook in about nine feet of water, 
but I've swung back into about six feet of water, uh, maybe um, six, five, seven, five, 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 maybe five feet of water at low, low tide, which is a bit lower than I would have liked. Um, but, you know, there's a lot of effort to lug, lift the anchor up, park a bit further in, further out. So I'm going to, I'm going to keep an eye on it. Um, it's low tide at five o'clock this evening, so I will, uh, I'll check then. Um, and I'll just have a wee swim around, make sure there's no nasties that I could bump into where I am. Um, there's, there's a dark patch over there, but it's a fair ways away. Uh, the wind would have to swing all the way around for me to get to that. Um, yeah, beautiful little spot. So that explains why one of those uh, catamarans was in such a hurry to get in front of me as he got the last memorial. Literally, little did he know I wasn't interested in warnings. Um, and that's, I think, Soldier Key up there. I can't remember what that one's called. Um, but there's supposed to be some good snorkeling in there somewhere. So my plan is to spend a couple of days here. Um, get the bridle on, get myself sorted, get the dinghy in the water, and uh, then go and have a wee explore. Oh, I'm back inside the... Um, Marine Park. Okay, let's go check that anchor. Anchor looks good, well set, um, and no rocks or anything, coral heads or anything uh, all around. Sort of sand and grass. Plenty of room under the boat by the looks of it. Um, I'm going to wait until five, low tide at five, and then check, see where I am at this side, because it does shallow up a little bit at the back. And um, if I'm good, I'm going to let some more scope out, because it's a little, I've only got about 35 foot of chain out, um, so it's not, not ideal. I'd like a bit more. Yeah, I mean, 35 foot in seven feet of water is still five to one, plus the bridle, so I'm, I'm and it looks super well set. I'm not worried about it at all. There's no you know, raging storm expected, but it would be nice to have a little bit more scope. Uh, okay, yeah, all good. Now I can put a thing in the water. Okay, let's go try to find this uh, sunken plane. Oh. Over there somewhere. Oh, that's all that needle, this. Put it in here. somewhere the plane is just there um I did get in, I tied myself on and got in, but uh, it was impossible to swim. I mean, the current is just zipping that away. So anyway, I'm gonna go off, come back at uh, high tide, uh, low tide and slack water, hopefully. Now I'm gonna go look for a thing called the aquarium. Hopefully that's out of the current. I can see why they call it the aquarium. It sure is pretty fishy. But sadly I think that's probably due to visitors feeding the fish rather than nature. One family I met had been told by the resort that this was where to come and to feed the fish. And that's generally a no-no, especially in a marine park. Still, it was great snorkeling and I was lucky to have it to myself for a few minutes. I left once the next group arrived. 
Just around the corner was a huge shallow bay, which was really lovely, but a bit crowded for my tastes. So I headed back to look for the plane again. Now slack tide had arrived. Well, that was fun. There was also some beautiful bombies alongside the plane. You have to really take care to make sure your anchor line doesn't damage the coral. Now back home to dry off. So I've come to this little beach on the west side of, I guess, O'Brien Key. That's me parked out, well, that's my dinghy just there, and then that's me over in the lee of that shelter, that other one. While I'm here, may as well have a look, see what's at the top of the cliff. It's a bit crumbly. Well, there doesn't seem any any way any way through, but oh my God, what a spectacular view! Oh my goodness. I wish I brought my big camera with me. Oh boy. Okay, now for the descent. This reminds me of scree running in the Coolin Ridge. But without, whoops, without the climbing gear, without the rain and the driving wind, and without about 40 years <laughs> extra on my body, if not my mind. Oh, oh. 